Part of my friends, hey, it's David here with Adventures of Philippine American Couple. So uh, today I am the host husband of a Filipino party. And the first thing you're going to want to do is meet and greet your guest. Come on in, man. How are you? Pretty good. All right. So as we introduce or introduce ourselves and welcome our guests in, we want to make sure they know where the bathroom is, right? Very Come on, the house. So be aware, it's going to be exhausting. It's going to be a lot of people, a lot of noise. So come on in. Here's the. If I can borrow my wife, I wonder if I can borrow my wife. My wife. My wife. All right, friends, so what I want to do is teach you a little bit about hugging a Filipina. So, very important to know. In their culture, it's really not appropriate to hug somebody like this that's not your wife. So, come on. So, what you want to do, if the wife of one of your guests wants to hug, you make sure you side like step and you do this. Okay? No oh, bumping. Just like this. Or no you just like this. If the girl, like just like this. My husband or male and female would be just like this. Okay. Then, then go away. Okay. So here's one of the most important things to understand about hosting a Filipino party. Karaoke. Now there's a lot of different huh? ways to do karaoke. My suggestion is keep it simple. But they're going to be very open whether you like it or not. All right, friends, if you didn't notice, the theme of this party just happens to be tropical shirts. It's just a great way to get everybody involved. All right, friends, so now what we're talking about is the kitchen. And there's a couple things I want to come uh, go over with you guys. One, the first thing you want to do is simply say, ladies, do you guys need my help in the kitchen? No! no. Thank you, bye, thank you. Perfect, right? Now, if you like to cook, I'll show you the dirty kitchen, which in America we just call an out a barbecue girl. So, they don't want any help. Here's one of the most important things to have in the kitchen while they're cooking. Alcohol. Because they kind of like to do this. You know what I mean? So make sure you got plenty of alcohol. Now, one thing to keep in mind as we move to the table, the ladies are all going to sit here. The food's going to be here. The ladies are going to be here. The noise volume is going to start way down here. And it's just going to keep creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. And you're going to think, oh my God, what in the hell are they fighting over? No, they're not fighting. They're talking while eating and not listening to one another. That's what that is. So concerning the food. I, Hey, it's a TV cat. It's not real. So here's something very important to get used to when you're at a Filipino party. And I have a rule about this, the food issue. The first normal rule I have is everybody eats. Everybody eats all they want before you bag it up in Ziploc bags. Okay? And rule number one about the food. But don't be shocked if they take a Ziploc bag and they put chocolate cake, bisquetti, and lumpia all in the same bag. Well, that's just going to kind of happen. So just be aware of that weird thing. And things. You need to have a place for the guys to go to. Because the women are going to take over the house. They're going to be loud with karaoke in and eating. And these guys need a place to go. So you see, we've got ample of seating. We've got the barbecue area out here. We've got a fan going. Now, what's important is you want to make sure that you meet and greet every one of your guests and invite them to come join you out in the man area. All right? You're also going to notice we have a couple of coolers. One's alcohol, one's not alcohol. So we got some real, we only drink good beer at this house. So we got good alcohol and then just water and so on and such. 
So remember, if you see some guy in another part of your house that's bored, looking bored, make sure you invite them into the guy area, right? Now, you can't see it, but right around the corner, I put a trash can. So therefore, we have a place to dispose of all of our trash and garbage. Now, this party, the wives wanted a selfie picture place, and so that's what our banner is. So here's my last advice about what type of host you need to be and don't be. It's going to be very important that you don't get drunk. If you're host, you're the host. If you're a party, you're a party. So let's not get shit-faced drunk. Don't be one of those guys that get so drunk that you fall down and you fall asleep in the yard, right? Don't be one of those mouthy drunks that wants to get in an argument and fight with everybody, okay? And most importantly, make sure you're not one of those drunk hosts that wants to go and hug on everybody else's wives, because that's no good. So don't be that type of host. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, these tips. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. We appreciate you.